Yo guys, back again. This week's video, four tricks to immediately improve your sparring. So if you want to get better at sparring, keep watching the video. These aren't really tricks, they're more concepts. You can take any technique that you're good at and actually apply these concepts and see an immediate improvement on your sparring. So I'm working today with Jimmy Bustrin, which is one of my uh, son's best friends. And Jimmy's only been training for about six months. And we're starting to work on he's sparring more now. He wants to begin competing, so we're trying to ratchet up the level of intensity with his training. So now I'm trying to show him some of these tricks now that he can use to help get better while he's in the gym sparring. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Okay guys, James and I are going to break down the technique, show you exactly where these tricks are hidden. You're going to see an immediate improvement in your sparring if you start to institute some of these concepts. And again, they're really concepts, they're not tricks. And it's not the technique, it's the concept that's really important here. So we're going to break the drill down step by step so you can see exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. So Jimmy's going to throw the jab, and I'm going to oblique kick. Now this kick is found in many different arts. In, in box franchise savat, it's a coupe de poids. The Filipino system, it's a SIPA. In Wing Chun or Jun Fan, it's a dumb tech. In the modern MMA world, it's known as an oblique kick. The important thing is I'm hitting on the first beat. He initiates a movement and I intercept it. It doesn't have to be a jab oblique kick. If I get a guy who throws a lot of jabs when I'm sparring, I might intercept with my lead leg foot jab. Just as long as you're working on that high level timing, and I will really disrupt my partner's timing. If I intercept him on the first beat, I'm going to shut down the rest of his combo. So it's a very important tip. Learn a few techniques where you can stop your opponent on that initial beat. So the second thing we do here, first we jab, I oblique kick, and I throw a crescent kick. The crescent kick is an unusual and unorthodox technique. So the second tip or the second concept is find some unorthodox techniques. It might be a superman punch, it might be a jump front kick, it might be a spinning back fist. Find something that they don't typically see while sparring and work those techniques in. When I'm fighting in close quarter in boxing, my partner does not expect me to be able to kick him in the head. So if I catch him in the head, I'm not going to knock him out with the crescent kick, but I'm going to affect his timing, and he's going to respect the kick every time we get in and we're fighting in close quarter that that crescent kick may be coming. So that's, it's, again, worth its weight in gold. Make sure that you're practicing each one of these. So the third thing we do, he jabs, I oblique kick, I crescent kick, and I rear leg kick. So what I've done now is I've tripled up on one limb. Anytime that you can double up or triple up on one arm or one leg, you're going to find you're going to score at least one of those shots. Typically when we spar, it's a one-two, one-two rhythm. It's left, right, left, right. So when you start to double or triple up on a technique, you're going to find that one or two of those techniques will get through. So now we're at this stage, he jabs, I oblique, I crescent kick, I rear leg kick, I'm going to slap. I like to use the slap a lot when I'm sparring, I'll slap my opponent, forcing his hands up, and then I'll take that opportunity to spin and throw the spinning back kick. It doesn't have to be a slap, it could be any fake. So when we're faking, we're using a tool. We're using an arm or a leg. If I'm fainting, I'm actually going to use a gesture. I'm going to change levels. So I'm going to shift my shoulders. That's going to be a feint, which we're not covering today. We're actually working a fake. So my fake could be the jab, and then I go low. Or it could be the slap, and I spin. Whatever you want to work with. Whatever techniques come natural to you are the ones that you want to work into this sort of sparring curriculum. So take these four concepts, four tricks, if you will, Try to employ them daily when you're training, and then when you start to spar, I think you can find that you're much more successful. Thanks for your help, James. Appreciate it. Guys, till next week, train hard, train smart, train for a lifetime.